tag. I am thankful to the honorable members for the large number and variety of suggestions and views to which they have given expression in their speeches on several aspects of railway administration. I have followed all this with keen interest. I find that the main concern of the honorable members was the creation of new facilities, especially for the areas with those needs and conditions. They are very intimately connected. I shall not be able to deal with all these things on of account of the limitation time. If I have other opportunities, I shall myself of those opportunities soon in order that I may acquaint myself and become conversant more fully with their viewpoints and I may have also occasions to discuss with them in detail various things regarding which it would not be possible for me in the very limited time to say very much now. I may assure the honorable members that the letters which I receive from them and the views which they express on the floor of the house are to me of very great importance. I learn a great deal from those communications and I endeavor to give very careful thought and attention to them and I study them. And as I arrive at conclusions, I shall convey them to the honorable members and make personal contact for further discussions so that we may arrive at especially some kind of consensus in parliament regarding the way in which we want to handle and tackle the various difficult problems, the number of cases which I am facing and this country is facing and which are of very great interest to all of you. I must confess that with regard to the many demands on the railways which emerged in the course of these discussions, I would not be in a position in the present circumstances to give such answer as may carry any assurance, any satisfaction to the honorable members. I am very sorry. I am called upon to give assurances. Several honorable members have come and told me just to say that something will be done at the earliest possible time. I have seen the fate of various assurances in the past and for one I am not going to expose myself to this risk. The assurances given by my predecessors on the floor of this house are sacred for me also and if there is to be any change because of circumstances. I would like to share the facts and consideration with the honorable members. While I am not able to paint a rosy picture regarding the various things which have been put forward here as to how and soon they will be carried out various demands made. I can also say that 
I have faith that in the course of time with the cooperation of all it may be possible to give a better response a more favorable response to present a better picture to the house than is possible at this stage i shall try to give to the house in a brief compass the perspective of the railway system as i see it and the course it may take in the next few years this has the relevance because various things with which we will have to deal later on regarding which i am called upon to give answers depend upon a realization and understanding of what is ahead of us and how well we are equipped now to deal with those things and if there are deficiencies how we are going to remove them it is better i do so that make any vague assurances because it is a proper realization understanding of the hard facts and their implications that alone can form the sound basis for any expectations which may be entertained regarding the possibilities of the system for the future in the course of my reply to debate on the railway budget i understand the role and the obligations and handicaps under which we are laboring as well as the measures to be taken which i think should be adapted to discharge the responsibilities thanking you dear sirs we wish to call your attention to the great importance of being properly covered by insurance in the event of your mills and machinery being destroyed by fire it is every day being proved that the only real way to be properly covered is to see that your machinery buildings stock and plant are insured to the full value and that your insurance policies contain full and correct descriptions of what you intend to insure if you have not at present a full and complete list of your mill properties and plant we certainly think that you should at once get one made up because in the case of a loss arising by fire the entire burden of proving what was there you cannot at present expect a settlement of the claim in any satisfactory basis it is most important therefore that you have this list drawn up with accurate valuation signed by a qualified third party that you can lay in the hands of the insurance company in case of need the valuation is very necessary because it at once enables you to see whether over or under insured and it forms an excellent basis for a settlement with the insurance company in the event of a fire taking place where there is no such document the insurance company takes price of the machinery as shown in the books of the firm and if this has been depreciated year after year such a basis is unfair for the settlement of insurance claim we are in a most favorable position to give you the expert advice on this important subject hoping to receive a favorable and early reply thanking you yours faithfully manager